Welcome back to another episode of To The Prem with Great Yarmouth. So, we are kind of on a rebuilding stage now. Um, if you've just joined in, we end up finishing staying in this league and unfortunately not going up. We've had a couple of friendlies. We've not gone too well in these friendlies at the moment. We lost 6-0 to Blackburn, which was given. Drew 2-2 with Kirkley and Pakefield Reserves, but we didn't have a team. Bradford City obviously humped us 4-0. And then with a semi-team, we've lost 1-0. So we're still trying to build a team. At the moment, we're kind of missing two strikers and a right winger. But we're looking to build on that at the moment. Coming in, we've only got one player. So maybe we'll start looking at the striker and seeing if we can get any strikers into the club. So we are looking at attacking ready. Let's have a look at finishing and see if we've got anything. So we've got Ashley Longstaff here, 29 years of age. And he's had a very big career. Um, last season, 27 games, 5 goals. Is that someone I really want to take a risk on? Let's. He wants 110 as well, but we can offer 95 as backup. He's happy to take it. So we'll take a risk on there for just 95 at the moment. However, we'll look at the recommendations. Jesse Darko is a recommendation at the moment. He's currently a free transfer and it is from Austria. His career stats has played... A couple of county divisions. He, he was obviously in county last season. Um, played one game last season. Not great goal scoring record, but we'll give it a go and see what he says. He obviously wants to make it a stepping stone, but we'll remove it and he's happy to continue talks. So let's have a look at who they've recommended. Matthew Reese, who's 24 years of age. And also Robert Bryant with a goal scoring of 12 to 17, who's 20 years of age and has quite a few clubs bidding for him. Let's have a look at Robert Bryant and see where he's been. So he's been in the counties. He played 32 games last year and no goals. I think I will stay clear of him, even though he's got a finishing of um, that there. Another player we've got recommended is Amani Shua, 21 years of age. And again, he's not really played any football five goals so we're not really getting the goal scorers in as much let's have a look again Evan Key is another one that's recommended 22 years of age let's have a look at Evan Key so he's played yeah okay we can look at him he played last year in a bigger league and scored six goals out of 18 games of course he wants to make it a stepping stone we'll move them move them and we'll offer that there what I can do as well, I know it's kind of really unrealistic, but look, we can look at some of these players. Not likely to get any of these, especially players like Luke, Lucas Jaswell Stick. Um, but we can have maybe look at Joe quickly. He's 20 years old and was released from Bournemouth. Again, doesn't really want to relocate down this way. Um, we can have a look at another one. So here we go, Kyle Vassell, 25 years Not likely to get him. He's played in a lot of the football. No, again, doesn't want to relocate. So, really, we're looking to try and keep a decent team going. We've got Corey Corbley Bishop there, 20 years of age. Could maybe give him a shout, but again, doesn't want to relocate. So, I guess you can see it's quite tough for us to do it. We'll have a look at here what's happening. And Key wants to commence contract talks. So we'll find nice deal there. So, Evan Key, one of the forwards there that we've looked at. Darko also wants to he wants to be a key player but we can only offer him 95 not a million miles off so he may kind of come down to our level but I think it's highly unlikely so he's 100 I mean he's coming down quite could possibly he's wondering what he's standing firm at 110 fortunately that's the only thing we can offer and we've lost uh, Darko there I think maybe could have been a good striker there but hey ho we will move on to the assignment now and look at James Smith and have a look at what strikers he can recommend for us. So he's recommended, obviously, Darko and um, Matthew Reese as well. 24 years of age. Corinthian Crowder was 46 games last year. Um, we can have a look. I'm not too keen because, obviously, not played that many games. 5.5 um, Chichester played in Southern Counties. What I could do. Make an offer and actually see if they'll do it for nothing. 5k though is quite a lot, so probably no, they want 18,000 and a sell on percentage. So they think he's going to be a good player. Um, again, we'll have a look there. So here we go Jordan Johnson or Swaffham played against us last year. Only six goals though. I really would like someone with a bit more goal scoring prowess. 
we we'll look at we can look at Roger Fogarty here plays for Durham. Played one game last year and no goals, 5.80 average. Maybe not. Let's have a look at what they say for the finishing. So here we go. So we've got Lewis Sabi, who plays for Canterbury. 19 games last year, four goals. Again, League Division. Rory Faculty. Shaquille Willingham plays for Corinthians. 17 games last year, six goals. And you've got someone like Tony Martin, plays for Long Eaton. 36 games last year, three goals. Mm. Think of anything, I will probably look at Lewis Sabi. Off, oh, see if we can get him on a free. Obviously, they're looking at 2k for him. So, yeah, though, we can have a look at him. So, we'll offer him a contract and see what he says. 65. Let's have a look there. Oh, and we've got. Pegasus Juniors are made an offer for our under 18s manager. And obviously, Ashley Longstaff is being touted by other players. So, tough market we're in at the moment. Hopefully, we can get the players that we need. What I could be trying sneaky is and have a look at who the top goal scorer was last year in our league. So, yeah, remember, we weren't going to take him on, so we've cancelled his contract. What I will do is let's have a look at competitions. Click on that one. Click on history. No, click on where is it? Uh, there is a button somewhere where you can look at previous. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hmm, bear with me. I'm trying to remember where it is. Past winners. No. Records. Player records. There we go. So we can have a look at most goals in the season. So last year was Billy Law at Maidenhall. He valued at 1.7 and he played 38 games, 27 goals. So what we could do, try and be sneaky here. He's only worth 1.5, but actually go. So they want 3.5 million for him. So 3.5k for him. However, what we could do at this stage is look at other leagues. So we can look at the Western Premier League division and look at there that guy there he scored 15 goals so not quite as prolific and we've got the Wessex so we can look through all the leagues and have a look at the past records so players 20 goals yeah, that might be worth something depending on how many games 37 uh, yeah well, we can have a look at that one guy oh 10,000 not gonna not gonna happen not gonna happen anytime soon on that one I don't think um, United Counties Premier League 18, Peterborough Sports. He played 42 games. Average of 7.3, so it might be worth having a look. He's 3.5. Never know. No, they want 7k for him. So obviously they know he's a good goal scorer. Let's look at the Spartans. Chris Forsett, 19 years of age. He played 42 games. 6.91, so we can have a look at him. He's only worth 2k. So maybe, yeah, there we go. So we've got Kyle, we've got Mr. Fawcett there. He may be worth a shout. The Southern Counties. Again, I think, no, it's too, even though they've got upper league, I'm not too sure. Well, because of that, we've lost where we were. So we, we were at the Southern Counties. So we're at the Southern Combination now. Let's have a look at records there. Liam Hope at Broadbridge Heath played how many games? 35. So looking at the North West. So just looking through the leagues at the moment to see if we can try and get someone. Danny, one, no one scored as many goals like we have in our division. So I don't know why that is. Maybe our league's a little bit easier leaking goals. I have, I have no idea. A lot of these seem to score about 18 to 20. Midlands Football League, 18. So we can have a look at it. Loughborough Uni normally pull out. Some good players. Um, we can approach the sign him as well. Does that? Oh, but he's going to be 20. So what we could look at. Oh, it might be quite hard because I can't put a transfer window in for him. Ah, he's, oh, is he only on trial at Loughborough? Surely not. But anyway, if you look at the... No. We wouldn't get him anyway. It's a shame. But hey-ho. 
the Hellenic Premier Division. No. Essex Senior League. Noah Keats. He's currently in the under-23 team now, even though he was their top goal scorer last season. 39 games, 15 goals. Let's have a look and see if we can maybe look at giving him an offer. Yeah, so, again, I'm not looking to sign all these players, but it'd be nice just to see if we, we can get from this. So we've got two more league, well, one more league we can look at, which is the counties combined. Scott Harris at Bagshot Lee is a poacher. 44 goals, uh, 44 games, and he wants 500, so we'll, we'll see what happens there. And, oh, no, we don't know. We're not paying 4K for him. So we've got two accepted. We'll see what happens there. Okay, so lack of financial and lack of financial. So that's not a good thing. So we're going to have to just keep going with what we've got, <clears throat> and hopefully we can build a team on that. Maybe look at looking at our youth team as well. So we rescued a late draw. They, this guy does like to try and get a, a job's worth out of me there, doesn't he? So the good thing is we're going to get Lewis Sabe from Canterbury. And looking at Sabe's stat, 19 years of age, can score. He can look like he can score. Um, although he scored 19 goals, he may have not had um, the, the supply that we maybe can offer him this time round. So we'll see what happens. He's a poacher, an attacker. So he's only rated two star at the moment, but hopefully we can do that. So we've still got two more positions we need to fill, really. I definitely need to get an AML in. Attacking mid-left. So I think maybe it's time, oh yeah, of course we haven't got the filters on so do realistic transfers. Um, don't really know any one of these so we could just have a look at their history. So possibly 30 games last year, James Tix 24, played 42 games last year, Anvis Sandu. Didn't really play any games last year. Ryan Pelling played 29 games and scored 10 goals. This guy's got a few bids. Boring Wood Venerama. We could have a look at this guy. So we've got we're looking at Lucas. Tory Jacobs as well. 23. Played 46 games last year. Carl Pettersson, 26. Played 44 games, average of that. And Ashley Goss. Played 42 games. So, man, it's going to be quite hard to see what we can do there. Hirons is gone. And yeah, £25 per month. So that's fine. So they're the players we're looking at at present, and hopefully we can get some of them in. We'll keep to the, the same pitch as last season. So, two more there. That's fine. Okay, we've got Matt Rees. I wonder what his stats will bring when they show. So Matt Reese is a three star quality player. Shooting seven. He's defensive forward. Mm. Again, someone filling up there at the moment. He may turn out to be a decent player. And yeah, good luck to AFC Manfield who've got Mo Fork now. But I think with the keepers we've got, I think I'm happy with. So we've got some homegrown players in there. Three players still looking to get in. The 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 Premier the, the oh, I can't even say it now. The preliminary round of the FA Cup is due in the next game as well. Okay, and we've got three new. So unfortunately, we didn't get Lewis Kennedy Star, which is a shame because I really wanted him. We've still got two offers on the table for two other players. I think they're both strikers as well, but 
hey ho. Losing 4 0, that's not great to a team who are in the Anglian Premier Division. It's not good. Definitely not what we want to see. Let's have a look at our tactic report. So they're still saying they're pretty okay. So just really missing that AML. But at least with those we'll get our strikers in. And we may need to try and see if we can get an AML. So Milden Hall's going for another player that we're looking at. And Longstaff has said he's happy to sign, which is good. Wonder what his stats would bring. Two rated, and with that we actually rated 251 this year to win the league. Ouch, that's not good. That is not good. Maybe we can try and get him trained up onto the other wing. So training wise, definitely want him to be an AML. Want him to be a winger. Let's hopefully build on that for him. We're also going to get the FA Cup preliminary round draw in. So who do we get? to knock us out on the first round of the FA Cup. AFC Hayes. AFC Hayes of the Spartan Mid Premier Division. So a 3-2 loss. And we didn't get Key, which is a shame. I really quite fancied the idea of Key coming over to us. Okay, so let's have another look at who we can maybe look at now as a potential left midfielder. So assignment-wise, first team, we'll look at an AML on here. So they haven't got many. Dan Cotton, 29 years of age. You've got Frazier. He's played for Peterborough. Thing is, is he is he definitely more of a winger? Uh, we can have a look. Let's make an offer and see if they'll accept it for nothing. No, that's going to be hard for us to look at. Kamal plays for. Oh yeah, we weren't going to get Kamal. Matt Kennedy is also another one we can look at. Boston. Going to be more of a right sided player. Ben Harris, 25 years of age, who's definitely okay to play down this side. Let you know what, let's have a look at him. He only wants 50,000. At least we can put him in the squad. Luke Haycock, inside forward at Rainworth. Yeah, let's leave it there at the moment and uh, just hopefully get someone to play in that position who's natural. Because even though Sidhu plays well there, He's not really a natural born player there. Although he may well suit for us. He, like he played in cover games last season. So I think this is a good time to end it on the save game. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the rebuild of Great Yarmouth. It's not looking too hopeful at 251A rankers, but thank you so much for watching. Hope you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment. See you on the next video.